Hello, my name is Bobby Jo Marlin. My mind has gone far and beyond. Please, listen closely with no hesitation. I have been healing from diffused axonal traumatic brain injury with left side paralysis for almost a decade now. But I'm still lost, confused, trying to find my way through this mind mecha maze. Let me share with you my TBA recovery story I produced back in 2005. Two years after my car accident, since my former employer King 5 News and Art Institute of Seattle supported my Revive Memory video class as a healing step. It's a heartbreaking story of being at the wrong place at the wrong time. Life being altered in one single moment by a drunk driver. From the outside, Bobby Jo Marlin appears to be an ordinary 24-year-old woman. But in reality, Marlon can't recall any memory nor any event in her pastime. Marlon suffers from traumatic brain injury, a diagnosis she received at age 22. I was in a car accident in Cleanella, hit by a 20-year-old, five times the legal limit drunk driver. The accident happened August 8, 2003, sometime after 11.30 p.m. Marlon and her boyfriend, John August Blumgren, were driving through Cleelum trying to avoid backed up traffic on Interstate 90. But to their surprise, a highly intoxicated driver would determine their destiny. The impact of the crash killed the drunk driver and flipped the couple's vehicle, later catching fire. Law enforcement and medics successfully put out the flames and rescued Marlin and Blomgren. They were airlifted to Harborview. Blomgren shattered both thigh bones, suffered a concussion, and lost four liters of blood. Marlin, unconscious, received a severe eye wound and a cut on the leg. It's interesting because my boyfriend was the driver and he got all the physical injuries and I was the passenger and I got the mental injuries. And mental suffering she did. Marlon slipped into a three-week coma. Through time and with the help of doctors, family and friends, Marlon strived back to health. I remember just really wanting to go home and do something with life and not be a vegetable in a bed. Through it all, Marlon is thankful to be back and has learned to have a peace of mind. Having forgiveness for that guy does make a big difference because there was a point where I didn't have forgiveness for him because he took friendships away, or messed up my work hours and my awakeness to do things, and it was frustrating to me and it's like I hated it, but then I got on a level where I could forgive him, and I thought only of the good things that are turning out in my personality. Marlon's life has been forever changed. The uphill battle continues to this day, but her daily growth proves that there is a light at the end of the tunnel. Are we there yet? The nervous system is responsible for relaying and communicating throughout the internal and external part of the body. And every 21 seconds, someone in the United States sustains a brain injury. It is called a silent epidemic. How do I get through? It's been so hard not to know who I am. I still struggle understanding, concentration, have difficulty with memory. Let's put our brains together to find a cure for brain disease and help heal injured brains. Please, it can happen. I want to heal. I want to feel.